Jesus Christ. So, I thought it would be be the greatest time of all time to uh, take a look at the vault in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Easily, one of the best things about Brawl. It was so damn good in this one. Um, you know, obviously, Melee started the whole trophies thing. Um, it kind of it kind of started the whole idea of Smash Brothers being this this museum of of gaming history, and um, in Smash Wii U continued it, um, but it, it it didn't have as much as Brawl. Brawl really just absolutely went insane with the amount of stuff that that it included, just just to have stuff like it, it just you know like none of it really mattered, um, but. It was just really cool to see it. I'm on playing with a, uh, a sideways Wii remote here. The only way I remember really playing Smash Brawl. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I I never really played with the Nunchuck. I, I, of course, moved on to playing with like the classic controller and GameCube controller. But how I played as a kid was primarily with the Wii remote on its side. Um, and here we have... Oh, man. And I, because I played with the Wii Remote on its side, I never got to experience dicking around with the menus. Like, you could uh, kind of move them around in 3D and stuff. Uh, you can only really do that with the uh, second analog stick. But, of course, if we go to data, you know, you have movies and stuff. Oh, look at these. Like, I, I, I love the fact that they included all this stuff. Got the subspace emissary. All the cutscenes. You can just rewatch them all. And then not only that, but we get the trailers. We get the E3 2006 trailer, which is amazing because that meant that since they included that in this game, that we actually have, like, a very high-quality version of this trailer available. Because if it wasn't included in this game, we'd probably be using footage from 2006, which is absolutely garbage. Here, no. Everybody who owns Brawl has a high-quality version of this trailer. And this is one of the greatest trailers of all time! Uh, Snake joins the brawl, and then Sonic joins the brawl, and then the, an overall intro to the game unveiled in October 2007. Like, even the movies, even the movies for, like, included in this game, just as, like, bonuses, um, feel like they're, they're archiving this whole, um, you know, just the, the history of Smash Brothers Brawl. Not, not only gaming in general, but Smash Brothers Brawl. It's amazing. Uh, then there's the, uh, sound test, the records. I don't even, I don't even want to look at this. Again, this is my childhood copy. This is my childhood save file. And this is before I became a trophy connoisseur in Smash Brothers games. So I don't have a lot of unlockables. I unlocked all the stages, all the characters, but that's kind of where it ends. I believe I unlocked all the masterpieces, which was another amazing addition to this game. I mean, they have so many great... I mean, the menu setup here is fantastic. I specifically love the character select screen because it's organized so beautifully. Where you have uh, you have the main guys, obviously, on the, uh, on the top row. But then as you go down, then you have, you know, like, side characters. You know, you have Luigi, Peach, Bowser. You have all the Mario series characters. And then here you have Donkey Kong and then the Donkey Kong characters and kind of the other... Mario characters that have their own series, which is Yoshi and Wario. Then we have the Zelda characters right here, and then we have kind of the nobodies, which is Samus, Pit, uh, Ice Climbers, and Rob. Um, and then Kirby plus Pikmin, uh, Star Fox, and F-Zero, Pokemon, Fire Emblem, and Earthbound, and then uh, Mr. Game and & Watch, and third parties. So I always, um, I always really liked how that was organized. Obviously, um... <clears throat> The aesthetic of the character select screen looks way better in Smash Wii U and Ultimate, like with the fire and flames behind uh, the character portraits. But uh, but there, I, I loved how those characters were organized. It just made the most sense. Um, let's see. Got to go into the vault. Okay, so we have trophies and stickers, stage builder, album, challenges, uh, replays, masterpieces, and chronicle. I love so much about this uh not the challenges not the challenges like i said i wasn't a big completionist back then um i never beat all-star on very hard difficulty i probably didn't beat it on hard difficulty um but that doesn't mean i don't love brawl brawl i never cleared all-star in general apparently in brawl <laughs> my god oh i never unlocked all the melee stages either okay so i unlocked i i think i unlocked all the brawl all the brawl stages, all the new brawl stages. But the melee stages, I believe, uh, apparently I did not unlock them all. Okay, so uh, here we have. Here we have trophies. 
See, I have 240. I believe that's around... I'm trying to think how many Brawl had in total. Um, I mean, that's a decent amount, but that's that's not at all. <laughs> like, them all there. Um, let me see. How do I... Uh, is there any way for me to... Uh, Okay, there we go. Smash ball. Assist trophy. Always looked a little weird <laughs> in Brawl. I didn't know what it was meant to represent back in, um, like, when it appears on the battlefield. Because um, it just looks like this clear... It looks like this weird snow globe looking thing. Um, Smash Wii U, I think they, they did a good job updating it to really show you exactly, like, oh, so this is a character in, in you know, in a trophy case. CDs. I did just look at, like, the, uh, the Smash Wii U trophies, and it's shocking how similar <laughs> these are to the, uh, the Smash Wii U versions of these trophies. Food. The Beam Sword. Fan? The fan didn't make it in Smash Wii U. It's interesting. Ray Gun. The Ray Gun got, uh, they got a redesign in Smash Wii U. Like, this little, uh, the actual, the actual hole here was like smash ball shaped. A cracker launcher, motion sensor bomb, gooey bomb, smoke ball, team healer, great. Smash coins, a primid. See, uh, these these were like enemies in the uh, in the subspace emissary. It was just kind of lame because um. You know, you obviously want to play a Smash Brothers Adventure mode to uh, to explore all these different worlds, you know. Uh, all, the, all the different worlds included in Smash Brothers. And I felt like Subspace Emissary was just a bit too generic in terms of its theming. Because, like, when these are the main enemies of the game, like, I like these guys, but it's also like, you know, I'd rather see more Nintendo-based enemies. Or, or even, like, how they did it in Smash Run, where they, they had a lot of, like, enemies from different series, but they also had, like enemies from games that, you know, you might, that might not be represented otherwise, you know? Man. You know that? The Mites? I think I saw, like, a weird leak where it was implied these were going to be characters in Smash Brothers. Gargo. The Ancient Minister. Stockball. There's Mario. Look at him. Denim and all. Oh, damn, they didn't have the year. They didn't have the year yet. Um, that was something they added in Smash Wii U, where they showed the uh, the year those game the the games listed came out, which is interesting. It's interesting to me that they uh, they don't include that. And it's also like uh, the games they chose are all, are always odd because like okay, Mario Brothers obviously, but then Mario Sunshine like G Galaxy was out at this point. It, it's just odd. Mario Strikers, Mario. Str Oh, okay, okay, so the Striker version of Daisy first appeared in Mario Land. Technically, no. I mean, if you're gonna go by that logic, then Striker Mario appeared in Donkey Kong first, but it's whatever. Paper Mario! That's weird that they only mentioned Super Paper Mario. A legendary hero whose adventure unfolds when he sets out to rescue Princess Peach from the nefarious clutches of Count Black. Man, they, they act like, um... They, they act like Paper Mario first only appeared in Super Paper Mario. That's interesting. It's also Paper Peach. The Goomba. Piranha Plant. So if we if we look at it like that, that's very similar to how the Piranha Plant looked in, uh, in his render for Smash Ultimate as a character. Um, but I do remember the Smash Wii U trophy version of Piranha Plant looks ridiculously similar to how how the render looks in Smash Ultimate. Like a two and like a two and spine in the uh, in spineys. It's always weird to me, of course this is an assist trophy in Brawl. And um it's it's weird to me that they went for a 2D look with this, but you know it's whatever. It kinda helps it stick out. Here's Boo. Of course, yeah, Boo, his, uh, his his second greatest appearance outside of Mario Brothers 3, Yoshi's Island DS. There's a cheap cheap. That's interesting that they put the bubbles there. 
Blooper. Oh yeah, Blooper was playable in Mario Party 8. I love when they do dumb stuff like that. Goombella. There's a uh, fractal. They had a lot of Paper Mario trophies for uh, being weird with the uh, the uh, games listed. Wiggler, dry bones. Oh man, there it's taking a while to uh, load these. Goalie version of the critter. It's flood. Apparently, it's weird that they they specifically labeled this as a Mario trophy, even though you know this comes from a Mario spinoff game. But it's also this is very much. This is very much a Donkey Kong character. There's Flood, Starman, Metal Box, Lightning, Fire Flower, ba bomb Hothead. I almost like, I don't, <laughs> they, they did this in Smash Wii U too. Where you have the soccer ball. Um, they, they, they have a soccer ball trophy and it is specifically, they label it as a Mario trophy. The hammer. Spring. So are we over to the, uh, yeah, these are the Donkey Kong trophies. Oh, the Wrinkly Kong. Rambi! Oh, they, yeah, they took a while to load that one. On guard? Aw, oh, look at on guard. Look at this guy. There's Cranky Kong. Cast. They did get much better at, uh, at, uh, posing these, these trophies in Smash Wii U, but, um, I almost find them slightly more, I don't know, charming in Brawl. I don't know why. I, I can't really, I can't really, I, I can't really put my finger on exactly why I find them more charming in Brawl. It probably has everything to do with nostalgia, but I don't know. I think it's just because... Smash Wii U only focused on, well, I mean, it didn't only focus on, but it heavily focused on console games. And Nintendo was a lot more conservative with their console releases. They weren't nearly as experimental, um, especially around the Wii U era. And of course, like, they, they mainly go for, like, they either go for super retro stuff to make trophies off of, or they go off of that recent generation or so to make, uh, to make trophies. They basically like to cover as much as they can with, like, the franchises, you know, the big stuff, maybe do some obscure things, but they mainly go for, like, uh, they mainly go for the more, um, that, of the trophies of that generation. And, uh, and this is, you know, I, I feel like they were a bit more experimental around this time, so there are definitely some cooler trophies. And plus the fact that they have to encompass both console and handheld in this game. I think that's probably why I find browsing these trophies a bit more entertaining. There we have Link, Ganondorf, the Bunny Hood. Yeah, a lot of these are very similar to how they were in uh, Smash Wii U. Like, that Deku Nuts trophy is pretty much the exact same. Malo, like from Pushmo. Being Bulblin. Agatha, the bug girl. Dark Knight, Bulblin. Yeah, a lot of Twilight Princess stuff here. Obviously because Twilight Princess was kind of the main, like the, the, the newest Major Zelda title at the time, but also, um, I mean, they had Phantom Hourglass, but you know, this was mainly like, you know, I'm talking like major Zelda title. I mean, like major console Zelda title, um, and it's also like what they based off most of the Zelda characters design off of. Have Outset Link, which is great. That's awesome. I do not like the controls for when you're using a Wii Remote because you have to go back with the with the minus button. I don't get it. Oh, look at all these Wind Waker trophies. I love it. That does remind me of the um, of the Smash Wii U pirate ship trophy, because I just looked at that. Screw Tech, Metroid, Dark Samus. Oh, what is that? Oh, <laughs> look at those feet. Noxus from Prime Hunters. Trace, Silux, She Goth. We're on to the Kirby stuff. Dragoon. It's a lot of, um... Oh, Knuckle Joe! My Kirby powers. 
tornado, Kirby. Waddle Dee. There's Cracko. Wheelie. Bomber. Albert. See, as much as I do enjoy looking through these trophies, I do like the uh, the trophies in the other category, you know? Like, they aren't necessarily linked to any series majorly in Smash Brothers. I find those to be the most interesting. That is pretty much an exact... There, that This exact trophy is in Smash Wii U. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the assault version of Fox. This exact trophy is also in Smash Wii U. <laughs> I just realized this. Oh, man. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. That they... A lot of Smash Wii U trophies are literally just the Brawl one. Like, some Brawl ones. The Tricky is the same. Tricky in the Star Fox Assault version of Fox. Uh, that's the same. There's the 64 version of the Great Fox. There's a Great Fox from Assault. That's I believe that exact trophy is in Smash Wii U as well. Andros. Is the back of him going to be red? Yep. I believe this exact trophy is also in Smash Wii U. Man, that's... I, I just realized... Damn. Like... <laughs> I didn't realize that until now, how many trophies were just kind of, like, ported over from Brawl to, uh, Smash Wii U. I mean, it's fine. It, it wasn't a big deal, but it's also, like, uh, you know, for Melee, they had to, you know, they, they didn't have, they didn't have a previous Smash game to port those trophies over from. Now, of course, a lot of these are, um, are kind of taken from, um, you know, models that already exist. You know, like, they're just, they just kind of repurpose pre-existing models, but still... There we have Pokemon. This is obviously a bit of a, a bit of a blank spot for me. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. I have nothing to say about these guys, unless it's a cool trophy. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, for somebody who doesn't uh, isn't a, into Pokemon, I, I sure did have a lot of Pokemon trophies. Samurai Guru, we're on to the uh, F Zero trophies. Jody Summer, Black Shadow. I remember. I think he would be a cool Echo Fighter for Captain Falcon. Uh, do I have uh, Mr. EAD? Uh, apparently, do not. Mr. Saturn, Franklin Badge. They do have to denote uh, Japan only games there. Jeff. Lynn, which I believe that exact, she's in that exact pose for the Smash Wii U, for uh, the Smash Wii U version of her trophy, but I believe it is fairly updated, along with Jeff, similar pose, similar pose, but, you know, very updated to be, you know, actually new, and uh, actually, like, if we look at this, that's pretty much the Smash Wii U, the Smash 4 render of Palutena, like, right there, that's pretty much exactly it, which is interesting. Whoops. Wario, the man himself. Wario Bike, the man himself. We got some Pikmin. We got the yellow, I got the yellow. I got the white. I got the Hokitate ship. The onions. Red Bulb Borb. Uh, red Bulb Borb. Whoops. And I'm burrowing Snaggrit. I like when they cover the entire base there. A Wally Wog. The palette's very, very similar in uh, Smash Wii U. Sable and Mabel. It's interesting how much Animal Crossing representation was in Smash Brothers before they even got a character. So they had quite a bit, you know, they had a stage, they had all these trophies, all of this. Wendell the Walrus. Capin. Oh, man, they had to load cap in there. Lipstick from Panel de Pond. Super Scope. I remember the Smash Wii U one looking oddly, uh... It was oddly... <laughs> the Super Scope logo was very blurry in Smash for Wii U. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a high quality version of the logo. Here, it honestly looks a lot more high quality, and I don't know why. <laughs> That's interesting. The Clue Clue Land thing. 
You excite bikes. At least in Smash Wii U, it's more of like a full 3D trophy, but I believe that's mainly because they just kind of ported over the model from Excite Bike World Rally. Let's change the lighting here. Why not? Go a little wild. The Devil from Devil's World. I love when they make 3D versions of these characters that have never been 3D, especially because it's the Devil from Devil's World. And he's shirtless. Dr. Wright. There was a character reminiscent of him in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I remember that guy. Whoops. Sta Staffy, which is uh, Starfy, um, which is interesting, uh, because this was before the legendary Starfy even came out here. Um, so it's interesting that uh, you know this guy made an appearance in, uh, in Smash Brothers before his, uh, his game even got localized and before he even got like a different name. Look at that. Ugh. Thank God they fixed him. <laughs> Looks so much better in Smash Brothers. This is always such an odd one that, uh... Little Mac was always an odd character that they, uh... They just kept omitting, you know? He, he was an assist trophy here, but it's like, you know, he was like... He's, he's an actual fighter, you know? <laughs> like, why not include him? Oh! Kuro Kuro! Kuro Rin! Rin. However you want to say it. That's awesome. Oh, man, that's another. Oh, man, I keep... See, like, I finally got, like, some GameCube import games. And I have the Nintendo Puzzle Collection and the Legend of Quiz Tournament of Champions. Um, and I forgot that uh, that one I I need, I need still need is the Kurorin game for GameCube. Which, these are really neat little games where you're just, you know, you're trying to uh, pilot that, that, that little thing, you know, that, uh, that lever that the trophy is, and you're trying to rotate it around as you kind of navigate through a maze, and you just don't want to touch anything, and it, it's super cool. Um, Sakiyama Mia from Sin and Punishment. That's a pretty uh, good-looking trophy. It's a pretty high-quality-looking one. Not bad. <laughs> More Kuro, uh, Kuro Kuroin trophies. That's awesome. Magical Star Sign. I... Do not recall this game at all. Apparently it released here on the DS. And I don't recall it at all. I believe... Is this like a... Is this Custom Robo? Because Custom Robo Arena came out here on the DS. I don't know much about Custom Robo. I almost want to look this up. Because I, I, I honestly, um, I honestly don't know. Let me see. Chosoju Mecha MG. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is probably definitely why I prefer, um, the trophies in Brawl. It seems like it's its own thing. That's interesting. Huh. It's a 2006 Nintendo DS mecha action game developed by this uh, by Sandlot, the studio behind the Earth Defense Force series, and published by Nintendo. It combines the developer's the developer's aptitude for larger-than-life spectacle with one of the most innovative and fun uses of the touchscreen in the DS library. This is from the uh, Nintendo Wiki, I believe. That's interesting. I've never I've never heard of that game. That's crazy. I like this. <laughs> Jameson and Ayers. Now this is Custom Robo. All right. Hopefully you can maybe tell why I got these two potentially confused. I still need to play Custom Robo. I have Custom Robo on the GameCube. I don't have Custom Robo Arena on the DS, but I should probably play Custom Robo first. I just found it interesting because Nintendo had two games that started with a C and ended with a Robo. <laughs> with Chibi Robo and Custom Robo, and both didn't do particularly well on the GameCube, and both got DS sequels, and they still particularly didn't do well. Speaking of a C with a Robo, it's Chibi Robo. Look at him. So good. I'm always upset that this is the most he got in Smash Brothers. Is some trophy, some trophies, um, like a prop, maybe a sticker. He also got a spirit in Smash Brothers, a costume. But you know, to me, Chibi Robo is like he's one of the last characters that like is um is like 
a character that is, you know, a main, you know, a titular character that has his own series that has, you know, been prominently on Nintendo platforms for the past decade. I mean, he's, he's a Nintendo character um, that hasn't gone anywhere. And I just feel like he would make a really fun little Smash character. I totally understand why he's not in the game, but, you know, I think he would make a really cool Smash character. Telly from Chibi Robo. The boulder from Excite Truck. I love. I, Excite Truck's awesome. I love his Excite Truck. Uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Trophy. Of course, you can see. You know, when it's not a Nintendo, Nintendo console, they just don't even write. They don't even show what console Metal Gear Solid 2 was on. But Metal Gear Rex, they can they can at least mention the Twin Snakes. Sonic. I, I wonder. So I didn't. I never beat. Um. I never beat Classic Mode with Snake in Brawl, so I wonder if um, his trophy says Metal Gear, but also d denotes that it was on the NES. I, I wonder. I, I doubt it. Or we have Sonic, and they uh, they specifically say, yep, that's Sonic from uh, the first Sonic game, 1991. And then also, yep, that same Sonic from Sonic and the Secret Rings. Super Sonic. That's interesting to me that uh, they do, you know, he appeared in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Obviously, that was his first appearance. But also, his latest appearance is Smash Brothers Brawl. You can say that about every single damn trophy in this game, that their latest appearance was in Smash Brothers Brawl. And then there we go. You see, I, I don't have nearly as many trophies in uh, in Smash and in, in Brawl as I'd want to. Let's look at the Horde. Look at that. There they all are. We can do diorama mode. Oh god, this is so... This is slightly clunkier than I'd want it to be. Look at that. Okay. Get me out of here. It's, it's, it's not worth it. <laughs> you have coin launcher, which was amazing. I love coin launcher. Oh man, this is so slow. Oh man, I want to at least get a trophy I don't have. I have more coins. I probably have that, but I don't care. We got Lucario. I believe it tells you when it's new. At least for like, yeah, these, these don't. I already have the hothead, but I have to. Okay. I, I, I need a new trophy. I need a new trophy. Um, I believe I have that, but we'll get it. No, I did not! We got the parasol from Super Princess Peach, I believe. Uh, I probably have the Chows, which was also a trophy that, that looks very similar to how it looked in, um, in Smash Wii U. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I had that. That's a Pokemon. Let's see, give me, come on. That's Saki. I don't care. Well, I mean, for a couple coins, hell yeah, I'll get another Saki. Uh, let's see. We'll go for one more. So I already got my new trophy of the bunch. Oh, no, 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 no! Damn. Oh, my God. I think one of them was new. Look at all that. It's amazing. I loved, I loved Coin Launcher. I love specifically when Smash Brothers does things that are not fighting. I love the fighting in Smash Brothers, but I think it's so cool when you have that little coin launcher game, you know? Just just because, why not, you know? Let's see the sticker album. Ugh. Um, let's see. Let's go by series. So I have 348 stickers. So uh, this is very, very similar to how uh, the Spirits worked in, uh, in Smash Ultimate. Because uh, they do level you up. You don't get anything else for them. You know, it's just kind of like, there you go. You got bonus little stickers. Cool. 
but uh, I think it's cool because you know they have they have all different kinds of artwork. They, like that's the original Mario Brothers artwork with weird Bowser, uh, sidestepper. You know, got a lot of new Super Mario Brothers artwork. It's really cool. Super Princess Peach artwork. It's pretty much just you know super easy ways to get as many things in Smash Brothers as possible. Did that was that Mario Golf or Mobile Golf? Because there was this weird like different version of Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color that only released in Japan called Mobile Golf. Um, but no, that's it's just regular Mario Golf. And then Rob from Mario Kart DS. For some reason, Mario Kart DS JP. That's interesting. Mario Kart 64. I love that they say the specific game because that's something that Smash Ultimate does not do with the spirits. And I love this. That's the thing. Like, why? Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Because it's like, um... Because, like, that's that's the Famicom-looking version of Rob, and then in the U.S., they made Rob they made Rob the uh, the North American version, which was gray and gray. Um, and then the Famicom one was, like, that kind of, like, a burgundy reddish kind of thing. <laughs> and they have to, they had to, uh, that is short and double dash to DD, which is great. A lot of Mario Kart stuff. Mario Party, yes! Brighton from Mario Party 6, the best one. Man, like I I like I'm not I'm not hyperbolizing. I adore that they actually like label the exact games these renders and artwork is from. It's so cool. And it, it, it's just like it it just makes this feel like such a cool museum. Because, like, as much as I like Smash Ultimate, like, again, like, they don't do that. They just give you the rough series. Like, if they had this artwork of Dixie Kong from Donkey Konga 2, they would just say, oh, this is from the Donkey Kong series. You know, and that stinks. I, oh, wait, 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 that's a little weird. Oh, never mind. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah, I was about to be like, why is it just DK Jungle Beat without a colon? I thought that was from DK Jungle Beat as well, but it's from Barrel Blast, silly me. Um... But yeah, it's just uh, just weird that it doesn't have a colon. It's weird. It's weird, like what games have a colon for their subtitle and what don't. Uh, and it's weird that they they shortened it to specifically just Zelda: Link to the Past. That just seems like something that Nintendo just does not do. Like it's really hard for it's really hard to see them call the Switch just the Switch. They always have to say Nintendo Switch, you know. Um. They're not really ones to do that, but at least back then they were a little more lenient with that kind of stuff. Have some Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask stuff, and then they also shorten it there. Oh my god. This is so cool. Lincoln Pigs! Uh, Tingles... Tingles Rosy Rupee Land! They just call it Tingles Rupee Land. Maybe that's what it would have been called if it came over here. Because, like, that game never came over to North America. So, maybe they were just... Because I believe the full name is Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Maybe that shortened title is indicative of what they would have called it, called it here. Which would have been just Tingle's Rupee Land. Just interesting. Uh, look at that Ridley. Jesus. There's Zero Mission Zero Suit. Yoshi from Mario Party 2? Uh, the Yoshi shit from Topsy Turvy. I never played Topsy Turvy. Oh my god. Oh, look at all those. Oh man, it's they, they're very specific. That's Mario Advance 3 Yoshi's Island art. Not just Yoshi's Island art. That's what I love. I love when they're specific. I love when they're very much like, yep, that's, that's what it is. Bonkers. Kirby Squeak, Squ uh, Squeak Squad. Oh my god. Oh, Star Fox 64. Oh, man. <laughs> you got some uh, Star Fox Command versions of the, fo of the Star Fox crew. We also have just straight up uh, Smash Brothers art there. Pokemon Trainer. Then we have the Pokemon. Which, you know, nothing against Pokemon. I just, you know, I'm not a Pokemon guy, so I don't. I don't, these don't do much for me, but they're still cool. It's weird to me that they're not as specific with these. 
They just say the Pokemon series. Huh. Then we have uh, F-Zero characters. Oh, there he is. Mr. EAD. Ah, Ninten. Ninten's in here. New Age Retro Hippie. We have Lloyd. A lot of stuff th from the original Mother, which is cool. We have Mother 3. Uh, just the sprites from that game. Then we have WarioWare. Then we have the original Pit. We have Pikmin. Uh, Sheeta from Fire Emblem. Mon Moncho no Nezo. Elowood. Lynn. I have a decent amount of Fire Emblem stickers here. The Game & Watch ones. Animal Crossing. Boundish from Digilux. I, I don't know what that is, but I want to know so bad. Chromatron from Digilux. I want to know what that is so bad. Dr. Mario from the that's Nintendo Puzzle Collection Art, specifically. It's really weird to me that that game never came out here. Um, oh! It's... Actually, I don't think that's Lip. Because apparently in Nintendo Puzzle Collection, that version of Poyo, uh, not Poyo Poyo, uh, Panel de Pan, um, like the, those characters, that, that character isn't Lip, that's like Lip's daughter or something like that. So, uh, technically I don't believe that is tr that is tr correct. Somebody email Nintendo. It's the Nintendogs. Ah, oh, Big Brain Academy. We Degree is so much damn fun. I love Big Brain, Big Brain Academy We Degree. I really want something similar like that, but for like four player. Because playing that multiplayer is so damn fun. I love I love We Degree. Um, sp specifically in multiplayer. It is so good. Trace Memory, Hotel Dusk. Wave Race BS. It's Blue Storm, but use your imagination. Sight truck. Do they have like stunt race race effects there? Electroplankton. I believe this was um, this was what became um Elite Beat Agents. I believe. Well, there is the Elite Beat Agents. See, this is the stuff I like. I like when they get a little. <laughs> they have advanced wars. Drill Dozer. I still don't know what that is. I, I recognize I recognize that art from um from Smash Ultimate. That's a spirit in Smash Ultimate, but uh that's a Japan only game I don't know of. Aw, oh, Chibi Robo, running Chibi Robo, dad from Chibi Robo. That's Chibi Robo Park Patrol right there. Damn, they they really went above and beyond with the Chibi Robo uh representation here. There's another from that game I thought was Custom Robo. Another from the game I thought was Custom Robo. They have a lot of from that game that I thought was Custom Robo. They have a lot from the Staffy games, or Starfy. Magical Vacation. Magical Star Sign. Slide Adventure Mad Kid. I, I, I recognize that name, but um, I don't think... I, I've definitely never played it. There, we have a stunt race. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wild Tracks? Wild Tracks? All right, I... I'm going to look that up again. Wild Tracks. Is that like the European or Japanese name or something like that? Uh, yeah, it was known in Japan as Wild Tracks. That's interesting. That's interesting that they, uh, that they, uh, they missed that, I guess. Uh, there, the Mysterious Murasame Castle, Takamaru. Play a little bit of, uh, a little bit of that on 3DS. It, it's very... It's very interesting to me that that never released in North America. It's very interesting to me that they didn't release that in North America back then. Um, I, you know, it's it's very Japanese, but it's also like it, it's it's very basic. It's it's literally like an overhead little little hack and slash kind of thing where you just go scream to scream and screen and you just you know kind of like defeat all the enemies, you know. Um, so it's really weird to me that. They just thought it would never do well over here when it's just like, you can just, you know, market it as like a whatever. You're, it's a ninja game. There you go. Boom. Um, you know, uh, from whom the bo the frog bell tolls? Whatever, that guy. He became an assist trophy in Smash Wii U, which is funny. <laughs> That's like a Game Boy Color game. Mock Rider. 
he would at least be a really cool assist trophy. I know there was like talks of him being like a character and they messed around with that idea, but uh, he would be a cool assist trophy at the very least. Uh, Famicom, Famicom Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally. That You could maybe make the uh, connection that that was like the first Mario Kart because it was a racing game that featured Mario in the same sense as like the golf game on NES featuring Mario. Uh, again, that that's from Smash Ultimate. That spirit's from Smash... Do Sukapon! I almost said Dokapon, like Dokapon Kingdom. No, that's Sukapon. It's like Nintendo's first fighting game was Joy Mech Fight. Or I don't know. I don't know if Joy Mech Fight came... I, I think that might have came after Urban Champion. Which again, why isn't... Why aren't, why aren't Urban Champions at least like an assist trophy? That'd be super fun. We got some Metal Gear ones. But then we also have the Chef. I love it. Ah, uh, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog US version. Yes. Because <laughs> he has the weird mohawk design. Of course. I assume they have the Japanese version. I don't know if they have that. Or if I have it. But, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love the stickers and Brawl. They're just fun little side things. And one of my favorite things was you could make albums. Just because. Why the hell not? Make your own albums. I love that. I want to see. Oh, man. You can do that? Yes. I love that. I want to see if I specifically have, um, if I specifically have any, uh, whatever, um, sticker albums that I took pictures of. And, uh, this is Stage Builder, but I never, uh, I, I think all my stages are gone. I probably had to delete them all because I tried to, I tried to do some Project M on this thing, and, uh, I think I used, like, a, a different memory card or something like that, so I probably don't have any available but still stage builder it was super limited but i mean like you can show it's just like it's still cool that it's there like it's just i mean it's gonna load i mean like that's the thing about brawl it took forever to load so much so much of it um because like it's really pushing the wii but it's like i mean i wish they would have done something where it's just like okay like, you know, they have a bit more going on where it's like, oh, man, you know, maybe maybe more Smash Brothers, you know, esque features where it's like, oh, man, you know, uh, you know, here's a pipe for Mario. Here's here's a background from Zelda or something like that. But still, I mean, you could do a lot of fun stuff with this. You know, it was super fun. Where are the spikes? Um, There they are. I hate how B is the consecutive button. This just feels weird. But you can just make these as stupid as you want. It's amazing. And then I can test them. Not enough... Ah, fine. Quit without saving. I don't even... I don't even wanna... No. That was like my... That was my perfect idea for a stage and they ruined it. Um, I just want to look at the challenges, because the challenges, they, it just felt like there were so many more in, in Brawl than, uh, than any other Smash game, just because, look at this, like, they have to scroll the damn screen! In reality, I believe Smash 3DS and Wii U and, uh, and Smash Ultimate all have either a comparable amount of challenges or even more. I don't like the challenges in Smash Ultimate. I feel like they're super lame. Um, it's literally, like, it's either bare bones basic stuff like oh make make a state i mean like i mean stage builder wasn't there at the beginning but like you know what i mean like um you know oh make a playlist of uh, of sound of sounds and you and you get the challenge or it would be like this super specific stuff it's just like on eight on like le with a level eight cpu uh launch them at a projectile at a, uh, as a projectile, at a 75 degree angle, at 200% damage, and I'm like, that's not fun, like, it's just like, I like where it's literally, like, it's just, it, it's rewarding you for going through the various modes in the game, clear boss battles on easy difficulty, get 400 combo, uh, combined max combos, all-star on easy, over 100 hours, clear that event, target smash level 2 with all characters, brawl on Norfair, 10 times, and, like, stuff like that is in Smash Ultimate, but, like I said, it's either super basic, or it's incredibly specific. Did I have any replays? That's that's the main question. 
Wow, this is from 2008. This is from January 1st, 2008. I have got to see this. Give me the goods. What? I wasn't that good. How did I do that? Was this like a... Was this like an online thing? I think this is somebody else online and I and I re and I saved the replay. <laughs> I definitely did not know how to do that in 2008. So I assume this was like a this was like you could you could save replays of other people online. Also, I didn't own Smash like what? <laughs> I didn't nobody owned Smash Brothers on January 1st. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. That was a sample one. <laughs> that was like one that just came with the game. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. I was like, what the hell? Um, let's see. Let's see. This is definitely mine then. This is definitely mine. Let's see what this one's all about. <laughs> yep, that's way more of me in 2008. Look at me go. I didn't know what a smash attack was back then, so, uh, yeah. And I saved that for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's whatever. Now this. This right here. This is, uh, this is everything. Look at this. Look at this. We have 12 demos. We have 5 minutes to play Ocarina of Time. This was so cool. I love this. Um, and, uh, yeah, we only have a minute of, uh, of, like, Mario Brothers. I love how Donkey Kong, out of all things, it's only 30 seconds. 30 seconds of Donkey Kong. Like, that is ridiculous. Okay, let's see, let's see how long. I really hope, I really hope it takes longer than 30 seconds to load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, never mind. That was disappointing. It's whatever. Yeah, but it's so cool that you can just think this was like the first. Yep, not good, not a good idea. Never mind. I forgot. Yeah, great, cool. Well, that that wasted a lot of my time. Um, yeah, but it was it was so cool that you could um, you could play this stuff within Smash Brothers. Like it's just like you can actually play the stuff that uh that Smash is based off of. And. Not for long, though. Um, but yeah, it was super cool. I always, I, I loved it always. I, I always loved that so much. Even though, like, it was totally, it, it just wasn't the most, like, I don't know, like, necessary thing. And also, like, they, it was super gimped in a lot of ways. Obviously, the fact that, like, okay, I can only play 40 seconds of Ice Climber, 30 seconds of that, 2 minutes of Zelda. But it did give you a good idea of exactly what these stages were. I mean, uh, what these games were. And it was really cool. I wish they would have done, like, some more stuff. Like, they would have, uh, you know, there, there's so many more games they could have pulled from. And instead, you know, we have, what, well, we have three Mario games there. We have, uh, we have two Zeldas. You know, there, there's a lot of other things they could have pulled from where, you know, they could, they could have had Sonic. They could have Sonic 1. Um, you know, they could have had that. Um, they have F-Zero? Yeah, they had F-Zero. So, you know, they, they have a decent... They have a decent range of stuff, but uh, I would have really loved to see them kind of like do a bit more, a bit, a bit more of a variety of things. However, this, this is what I'm really talking about here. Okay, my favorite thing about the vault in Smash Brothers Brawl is the fact that it takes forever to load. But there's one more option, which we also didn't look at the album, but we'll look at that last. It is. The Chronicle. And I only said that because it's taking forever to load. I would have waited to say Chronicle if the Chronicle appeared like it does right now. There. What that I what that mode is, that's the most amazing mode in all of Smash Brothers, is the Chronicle. There we go. There it is. View a list of past and present Nintendo titles. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so cool. Look at all that. We have a full list. I mean, it's not everything. Because, like, I believe you have to unlock things, which is weird. Because, like, look, it, I don't know, like, uh... 
I can look, there's gonna be like, yeah, it says new there, which is, we, I find that weird, but uh, this is just, I love this, it's so cool. The fact that we can look through all of these Nintendo titles, and they're so thorough, you know? They they included the the two-in-one Mario and Duck Hunt, the three-in-one uh, Mario and Duck Hunt. You see, I'm using a D-pad, so this is rough. The three-in-one Mario, Duck Hunt, and World Class Track Meet. Uh, the two-in-one Super Spike V-Ball and World Cup. It's so cool. There's Game Boy. And, uh, they even, uh, they even include, uh, <laughs> they even include random stuff like NBA 3-on-3 three -three featuring Kobe Bryant, which is cool. And Hamtaro Ham Hams Unite. It's a lot of random stuff. They also include, like, uh, stuff that, you know, is, is kind of, like, weird copyright-wise. Like, there, they have, uh, they have, like, the Disney stuff. They have Mickey and Donald, Popeye, Snoopy, um... You know, it's really cool they included that kind of stuff. Super Nintendo, SimCity, Mario Paint, Super Play Action Football. Um, it's a little, uh, it's also it's a little weird that they label specifically Mario All Stars and Mario World as five in one Mario All Stars slash Mario World. Um, it's a little weird that they uh they they don't include all like this is mainly just the North American stuff at least over here. I wonder if Europe and Japan, you know, I, I assume Japan includes all the Japanese stuff, but I wonder if Europe includes all the Europe stuff. I assume it does, but yeah, there we got the Virtual Boy, Galactic Pinball, Mario's Tennis, Tower Row Boxer, Mario Clash, Golf, Panic Bomber, Vertical Force, Nestor's Funky Bowling, and 3D Tetris. Um, I have played Mario's Tennis, Tower Row Boxer. No! Mario's Tennis, Tower Row Boxer, uh, Mario Clash, Golf. And that's it at the moment. Oh, and Vertical Force. Vertical Force. I've, I've played Vertical Force. All the Virtual Boy games, like, the Virtual Boy is not bad. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. It's just completely worthless. <laughs> there is absolutely no reason to play it because it's like, all those games that I listed are so... Oh, wait. Yeah, they don't have Wario Land. I probably haven't unlocked Virtual Boy Wario Land. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, it's just it, It's just weird that you have to unlock certain things. Um, but all those games, like, um, I played are, like, they're, they're, they're perfectly fine. They're fine games. They're not amazing, but there's nothing inherently, like, that bad about them. Um, but, like, they're so not worth shoving your head in that damn thing, you know? <laughs> like, they're just kind of, like, they're just kind of, like, regular, like, they feel like games that should appear on, like, the Game Boy, you know? They're very pick-up-and-play games, um, which is weird. We have N64. Of course, we don't have Mario 64 yet up there, so it's it's a little weird. Whoops. Look at all that. So we have a Game Boy Advance. GameCube. Mario Party 4, 5. Where's 6? Do I not have 6? <laughs> Do I not have six? This is ridiculous. But thank God I have Odama. Uh, DS. Of course, this is very incomplete considering this, uh, this is only up to December 2007. Then the Wii, also very incomplete. It's only on one page, at least for now. So I have, I had, a uh, Twilight Princess. I mean, Twilight Princess came out on Wii and GameCube. I wonder. I mean, I don't have Twilight Princess on the Wii. Do I have it on the GameCube yet? Let me see. God damn. Using a D-pad kind of makes it a little tough. Yeah, no, I don't have uh, Twilight Princess there yet. So that's the vault. It's it's so much fun. Uh, this this was my favorite part of Brawl. It is it is so fully featured. Like there's there's just so much history and great archiving happening here. Um. And, like, they still do it in Smash Brothers games, but it never really met the same amount of quality as Brawl. However, we have to visit the album. Thank God I saved that. 